course, the dining Paris. When Gil wanted to tell Inez that he actually met Hemingway and Fitzgerald, he said this sentence. If I was to tell you that I spent last night with Ernest Hemingway and Scott Fitzgerald, what would you say? Yes, that's right. Today I'm going to be talking about unreal situations. Unreal conditional sentences describe imaginary, unreal situations with simple past forms and consequences in the present. To make such sentences, we use a past tense in the if clause and would plus infinitive in the result clause. Although we use a past tense in an unreal conditional sentence, the meaning of the sentence is present or future. Have a look at this example. If you went to bed earlier, you wouldn't be so tired. As you see, we have a past tense, went, in the if clause, and would plus infinitive in the result clause. In this specific example, because we have a negative sentence in the results clause, we use wouldn't instead of would. Look at another example. Yes, the picture is so beautiful. I'm sure all of you like traveling. Look at the sentence. If I had more money, I would travel all around the world. Notice the past verb had in the if clause and would plus infinitive in the results clause. It means that I don't have money, but if I had, I would travel all around the world. I don't have money, and now I can't travel all around the world. Where is often used instead of was after if? If I was is a colloquial alternative to if I were. So it is correct to say if I was only in speech and in formal situations. Well, you'd better stick to were instead of was to be on the safe side. Look at this example. If I weren't too late, they would let me in. I was late, so they didn't let me in. So this is an unreal situation. If I weren't too late, they would let me in. Okay, that's all for today. Now it's over to you. Practice using unreal conditionals by following the links provided in the lesson. To get more information about the courses, please visit www.sickenglishschool.com.